Okay, first question will come from Rick Shroud. Hello? Rick, we can't hear you. You know, Mike, um, Sebastian, Dennis, guys like that. Is there anybody you think might not be available uh, when we get to Minnesota? Can you go back to the beginning, Rick? I didn't uh, hear everything. Cause you were... I was just saying that, that if you could address the health of your team kind of right now, I know we didn't see some guys last night, Antoine Winfield Jr., Mike Evans, uh, Sarvasia Dennis, uh, of course, Kalijah. Is, is there anybody you think that may be questionable or not available when we get to Minnesota? Uh, Mike will definitely be ready. He was healthy. We wanted to see some younger guys. He was coming off a groin earlier this week, but he had full practices. We want to hold him out, so he'll be ready. Winfield, Collage, and Savassier, hopefully they make progress by the end of the week, and we'll see how they go going into the game week right now, but we're hopeful that they can be ready. We'll go to Scott Reynolds. I don't hear anything. Are you there? Now I am. Okay. Going back to that playoff game against Dallas when Ryan Jensen practiced enough to be medically cleared to play, and then you see him go wire to wire in that game. Uh, did that give you and, and the team a sense of optimism that if he's going to play in this playoff game, that seven more months of rest, recovery, rehab, that you feel hopeful about his return to training camp? Not really. We thought he gutted it out right there, but as he didn't practice come spring and then summer, we talked about a lot of things going into that, and it could have went either way. We thought it could progress, and none of us, or at least I'm not a doctor from that standpoint, so we listened to medical advice and everything else. And Ryan's as tough as they come, and as it started progressing and we started not seeing anything, you know, it was kind of a tough pill, then something he had to come to grips with, and as he came to grips with it, and you talk about it all the time, but we never talked about him just shutting it down. Maybe we started having conversations about a week ago, and we tried to work some things out going forward from that standpoint. And then we finally decided to make it public this weekend. Yeah, I'm saying back in January, though, did, did, did him playing in that game uh, give the team maybe a false sense of security that, well, seven seven months from now, you know, with rest recovery, he might be able to play. Just I, I know what happened now, but I'm just saying back in January. Oh, we had optimism, but the medical staff always warned us that it would be touch and go from that standpoint. So we weren't too high or too low from that standpoint because they always warned us that it can go the other way. Appreciate it, Todd. Thank you. We'll go to John Romano. Be clear last year that you were not happy with the running game. Just curious with what you've seen this preseason, particularly last night, what your confidence level is in, in the ability to run effectively when you need to? Well, hopefully that continues through the season. We know they didn't have their first guys out there, but it was good to see them get going and getting on the right guy and having some continuity from that standpoint, and we can build on it. Anytime something's not working the year before, you try to fix it and get it better. So last night was a positive sign. Thank you. Greg Amon. Hey, Don, I just want to ask you if you had a sense of the timetable for when you guys will make moves. You've got a little over two days before you have to get 53, but a lot of times those moves come in the next day or two here. Well, we're going to meet this afternoon, or early this afternoon, actually right after this, and maybe some of the obvious guys, we may do something today. The rest of the guys will probably wait. It'll be like a two-and-a-half-day process for us, and we'll still meet and go over things some decisions we have to make or some guys we try to get to the practice squad. So it may, may start today. We'll see how the meetings go. If not, definitely tomorrow. Thank you. We'll go to JC Allen. If any media have questions, please raise your hand. Good morning, Coach. Just uh, wanted to ask you, the last starting spot on up for grabs on your team was Nickel. Has Christian Izian secured that spot as a, as a starter? Yes, he has. Okay, and as far as you talked about the competitions at wide receiver, talked about the competition at outside linebacker being really difficult. Did anyone step up and, and kind of stand out rewatching the tape from last night? But everybody kind of showed consistently what they've been showing uh, through the past couple of weeks. And, you know, the guys that played well continued to play well. The guys that were 
kind of not playing well, didn't play as well, and we got some tough decisions to make regardless because, you know, it's a couple guys right there on the bubble. Scott Reynolds. Coach, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, my question is regarding the um, – uh, with with the with the definitive answer on Jensen now, it, this center is that a position that you're going to be looking at in the waiver wire, and to maybe bolster that. I know you've got confidence in Robert Haynes; he did it last year, and you've got some other guys on the roster that that can do it. Maybe Nick Leverett, but is that a position now that you're going to be focused in on, and, and seeing if you can maybe add another uh, center to the roster? If there's something there that we like, we like the guys we have right now. It's, it's hard to put ready-made starters out on the street for any team. So we'll be looking on the waiver wire for kind of everything to up upholster our roster from that standpoint. But, you know, if something becomes available, we'll definitely look at it at center. Thank you. Last few questions. We'll go to J.C. Allen. We, we talked about the rookie class, you know, not just the picks, but the undrafted guys. Will this be the most undrafted rookies that, that have made a team that you've coached before? Yes, it will be. It will be by far. I mean, you know, the draft picks have a good chance of sticking, but there's quite a few free agents that will make this team. Do you have like a number around where you're where, around there where you're thinking how many guys might stick around? Not at this time. Uh, I'll be better be able to tell you tomorrow. And then as far as quarterback play, uh, obviously Baker got those two series, Kyle Trask played the rest of the game, rewatching it. How much more uh, of a positive outlook do you have in case something does happen along the line with Baker as it started that Trask can go in and, and lead this team? We're very excited about Kyle. We like the things he's been doing. Uh, the growth has been phenomenal coming in this year and playing a lot and getting all the experience. So we're very comfortable if something happens to Baker that Kyle can come in and play. Thanks, Coach. Have a good day. All right. That's all we have. Thanks, Coach.